our environment. In nature, we will find plants, animals, human beings, microorganisms, temperature, rainfall, wind, soil, minerals, etc. All these components of the environment interact with one another to maintain a balance in nature. The living components of the environment are called as biotic components and the non-living components are called as abiotic components. All the interacting biotic components in an area together with the abiotic components of the environment form an ecosystem. Forests, ponds, deserts are the examples of natural ecosystems, whereas gardens, crop fields and aquariums are the examples of artificial or man-made ecosystems. Let us look at the components of a natural ecosystem, pond. If we observe a pond ecosystem, we can find animals like pond snail, pond scatter, tadpole, turtle, duck, mussels, leech, fish, frog, plants like water lily, lotus, duckweed, water chestnut and microorganisms like bacteria and protozoa. These are the different organisms of the pond ecosystem. All these are the biotic components of the pond ecosystem. Whereas oxygen, carbon dioxide, temperature, sunlight, nutrients, these are the abiotic components of the pond ecosystem. The biotic components of the ecosystem are categorized into three types according to their mode of feeding. They are producers, consumers and decomposers. Green plants and some bacteria can make organic compounds like sugar and starch from inorganic substances using the radiant energy of the sun in presence of chlorophyll. These organisms are called as producers. The animals that feed on plants are called herbivores. The animals that feed on herbivores are called carnivores. The animals that feed on both plants and animals are called omnivores. The herbivores, carnivores and omnivores, all these three together called as consumers. The microorganisms like bacteria and fungi decompose the dead remains and wastes of plants and animals. That means they break down the complex organic substances of plants and animals into simple inorganic substances. These inorganic substances get mixed up with the soil and are used up once more by the plants. That's why these microorganisms are called decomposers and this process is called decomposition. Food chains and food webs. Living things need energy to live. But from where do they get the energy? Living things get the energy from food. A snake gets energy by eating a rabbit. That means the energy flows from the rabbit to snake. From where do the rabbit get the energy? From the plants it eat. From where do the plants get the energy? They get the energy from the sun. So here we can observe that in an ecosystem, organisms are arranged in a series like a chain. Each organism belongs to a particular tropic level. The organism at the first tropic level supplies the energy and nutrients to the organism at the next tropic level. So this chain is called a food chain. Let's see its definition. A food chain is a series of organisms where each one is eaten by the next showing the flow of energy in an ecosystem. It starts with a plant or primary producer and goes on to consumers like animals. In any food chain, sun is the ultimate source of energy. Plants convert the solar energy into chemical energy that is nothing but food. That is the reason why the plants are called producers because they produce the food. The animals that feed on plants are called primary consumers and the animals that feed on primary consumers are called secondary consumers. The animals that feed on secondary consumers are called tertiary consumers. So each food chain has different tropic levels. We find producers in the first tropic level, primary consumers in the second tropic level, secondary consumers in the third tropic level and tertiary consumers in the fourth tropic level. In this food chain, we can observe the flow of energy from one organism to another organism. Now, 
let us learn some more important points about the flow of energy in a food chain a plant can convert only 1% of the total sunlight that falls on their leaves into food the energy in the plant flows into the body of the animal that eats it can the animals use the whole energy that is obtained from the plants to build their bodies no because most of the energy that flows into the body of the animals is released out in the form of body heat some energy is used for digestion and for other physical activities only the remaining energy is converted into the body tissues of that animal on an average only 10% of energy obtained from food is useful for body growth and development the rest is spent for various activities so in a food chain only 10% of energy from level 1 is available for the level 2 only 10% of the energy from level 2 is available for level 3 and only 10% of energy from level 3 is available for level 4 so we can observe a gradual decline of energy from first level to last level that is the reason why the food chains usually have only 3 to 4 levels in a food chain the flow of energy is unidirectional that means the energy flows from a herbivore to a carnivore never from a carnivore to a herbivore in reverse direction the energy available at one trophic level becomes less when it passes to the next level this is due to the loss of energy at each level and one more important thing is that the number of organisms in the lower trophic level are very high as we go up in the trophic levels we see a decline in the number of organisms at each level this is about a food chain now let us learn about food web sometimes one animal found in a food chain of an ecosystem can be a part of another food chain also that means in an ecosystem many food chains may be linked with one another if we present all these food chains in a graphical form it looks like this this is called a food web a food web is a network of interconnected food chains showing the complex relationships and interactions between different organisms in an ecosystem this is all about food chains food webs and trophic levels thanks for watching please like the video please share this video with your friends please subscribe to great booster channel press the bell icon to get all the latest updates check the description to find links of other useful videos check the end screens for our new videos